is a uh, is a. Uh, I really hope after this video I get everything in because, like, setting this up, maybe. <sighs> setting this up like three to four times during the course of this is already frustrating for me. In case you're wondering, I'm using the bars on my window to keep this up. Looks fine now. I just put on fall. Also. Happened actually at breakfast yet. I don't know. Good morning. Oh, let me say good day. It's been about three years. I haven't actually done a video in my home or like in my home since the very, very last time. I was vlogging I wasn't so much homebound I think the last couple of videos it is that I posted I was more or less either going I was either going to Jamaica to um, spend like half the year working with this company or I was in Antigua doing something well there was also Martinique where I did this cultural exchange so I never actually had like the chance to work on more content while I was there and I felt like I should bring this up because I don't want to come off I don't want to come off as if like I'm now uh, a travel youtuber like only when I go overseas I'm making a video or you know something special comes up but truthfully I felt like that was the only time my videos made sense I kind of strayed away from doing more things but recently I've been like more into making more content i just felt like i haven't truly i haven't truly spread uh, uh this message or i haven't truly gone about wanting to i haven't been making enough and i felt like why not just go back into doing so firstly around the time i started vlogging and around the time i started doing videos I, I didn't really have much of a, a, a backup in other words I didn't really have external memory and I had like a whole bunch of technical issues um, like computer was running crazy so I didn't really I didn't really have anywhere to place any of these clips and I was recording and you know and I didn't really want to delete anything I guess I'm a bit, a bit of a, a, a hoarder in that way but I didn't want to remove I didn't want to let go of these memories as yet I didn't or I couldn't find a way to to manage like storage I can't think of anywhere else to say truthfully I was lazy I think that's maybe the strongest reason maybe the biggest reason I did feel uninspired during the course of things. I didn't. I didn't like the way my page was being, you know, put, um, showcased. Even if I'm the one behind all of it, these um, videos or these vlogs of me going overseas and me doing these things was my way of more or less like not giving up on hope. Even to a time like now, like even three years later. I haven't actually been somewhat like optimistic as to what's to come or at least while I'm still residing here. Safe to say like when I said that I was busy. I'm so sorry about that. I've just been really caught up and busy with a bunch of stuff. I know it's been a while. Like I said, I've been busy. There's a lot more to be expected, a lot more vlogs to happen. Recently, I've been having meetings and little discussions with people like I've been implying or at least been trying to imply to the viewers is that a lot has, a lot has been happening I know it's been an awfully long time since I've done a, a vlog like I've been seen in the previous vlog I really and truly was me finally having my pieces on display at a, uh, an event to me being able to travel to go to another country where everything is pretty much accommodated for me 
and then the next couple times was more or less me that like representing the country at different areas um when i was in martinique i also didn't feel a need to um record in a, in a, a, a vlog manner and you find because of that like it was i just had to make a short film out of what it is that i recorded it's not like it's not like i didn't want to make videos anymore it was just like what's the point i was barely getting feedback anymore um the last video i did just before i started traveling a bit more was actually about my campaign even that i kind of stopped promoting because i felt like i just was over it. not over the campaign but i i was just kind of like why why should i even why should i really go into it so much but at the same time it was it was almost me forgetting the fact that i'm still inspiring somebody somewhere I just needed time off i guess but at the same time, I got so comfortable and I got so accustomed in taking that time off into more or less relying on myself to the point where I wasn't really doing enough. And so there was that. Just didn't even bother look for something as small as a thumb drive or like a, or like a portable hard drive. I just recently got one so is the reason as to why you see more videos on my page now so i do plan to make more videos i do plan to release more content the only thing is i i feel like majority of the videos that you see will more or less be in just don't know exactly how to go about it but i also don't want to stop in the same speak in the same breath um but I was looking back at my old videos and and I just remember like how fun it was. Even like recently as I was doing these vlogs while I was in Antigua, just recording them and, and coming back home to edit them was just like, you know, going back to something that I missed, you know. Um, and I really do love creating things. But also, I also didn't truly explain like the reason behind the names and all kind of things. So I also consider this to be like a, I also consider this video to be like a reintroduction. So let me start on that. Blah. Anyways, my name is Jamal Bruce. I proclaim myself to be an artist. Some people just think I'm a crazy person who likes crazy things. I'm an artist dancer i've been performing for about 11 years in saint lucia during the year or so of me vlogging i was more or less trying to find ways in 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 marketing myself in trying to um explore ways in expressing my individuality and expressing ways or parts of myself that people don't truly understand. Because I also have my own brand known as Mind of Xavier, which is the name of the channel in case you were wondering how to pronounce it. Safe to say I've done collaborations, I've worked with many local artists. Between that and now, I've kind of been on this verge of self-exploration, if that's the best way to put it. Like I said, initially I, I got the opportunity to work in Jamaica for about half a year. Um, I came back, I got nominated for an award. I was working on um, broadening this campaign that I was working on called Exposures on Currency, which was a platform I used for the art industry in itself to kind of express their views of, of being underpaid, underprivileged or mistreated. I did try to do um, more open discussions with close friends and creators, but that didn't really work out as well. I was doing a lot in wanting to, of course, get my name out there more, try and get more recognition. I got recognized by the Ministry of Youth, fortunately, during the course of me being nominated. Um, I started working with 
to the Shadow Performing Arts Academy, who I, who I just recently came from Antigua with. I was, I was part of a, a, a collective, I don't really like to call them a group, but it was more or less a collective known as Untitled 51. It was a group of artists and dancers and rappers and whatnot, which trying to just get their names out there. And, you know, during that time is when I really um, encountered them and then kind of growing with them creatively and now becoming a member is kind of like an honor for me. I also became a creative director for this youth committee, for this up and coming youth committee known as the Artistic and Cultural Youth Development Canvas, also known as ACIDC or ACYDC. I've been really, really just making sure that I've been more in tune with myself. Um, I haven't, I don't really go in the forest and chill with my friends anymore because that place is kind of off limits now. I don't really do much photography anymore unless it's like for my own self or maybe like for my friends. I've been very deep in dancehall choreography as of recent. Um, I also managed to post some of my recent dance videos that I did with the likes of Tarek, also known as Tubbs Art. You can probably check him out on YouTube. I can't remember if he even has a YouTube channel that's active. But check him out in the list. With a vlog series known as Welcome to the World, it's my way of displaying parts of the industry, or at least parts of my life, being an entertainer in St. Lucia. I feel like this is a, a, a a way of like showcasing that because I feel like something as beautiful as dance is it isn't um, I don't say mainstream but it isn't on the forefront of media for the most part it's something that I just feel needs to be displayed except the youth committee that I'm involved in wants to display because they too feel like parts of the art industry should be showcased but it isn't I also got nominated this year. I didn't win for neither of these occasions. That's another story in itself. But I'm still practicing gratitude. Because I have been unimpressed and I have been, um, like I said, uninspired with things that are around me. It's not that I hate what's going on. At the end of the day, I really truly love performing. I really and truly love it is what I do. I just feel like there are certain parts of the industry and certain parts of um, my career. But it's safe to say like, I've been growing. I think I've been more self-aware. I've been more in tune with myself. I've been more um, open to expressing my flaws and expressing my um, imperfections um, and it's more or less trying to teach people around me just how to like, carry out that same kind of energy and energy is of course something that I really and truly appreciate that you know it's something that I really and truly look out for when it comes to people so it's only fair that I, I make sure that I have a, a, a a specific or you know like a, a energy that I know will kind of like reach out to people I haven't been as enthusiastic and you know like as bubbly as I would love to be uh, I just again it's all part of the I guess the um, uninspired phase and, and you know th this crisis it is that I was going through but yeah it's safe to say that I've been I've been working pretty pretty hard and of course I'm like self-employed. I consider myself to be this entrepreneur. So me spending these years of my life like trying to build myself up and making sure that I am of some level of relevance, that I am gaining a decent amount of income. And I think it's safe to say that I've been way more stable than I was three to four years ago. And you know, for me to just be fortunate enough to be around such great creatives and such great minds now um i can only be happy for that but you know this is a start like this is just me just wanting to get my voice out there some way somehow um i know most people don't really like videos like this and i respect that 
um, I'll try to make my videos more fun, I guess. But for real, I feel like with WTTW, it's just more or less like me trying to open the public eyes as to like the life of an artist. Working with other creatives, trying to make it through like the pieces of life at a young age. That's kind of it in a nutshell. I can't promise you that I'm going to give another video before the, the week ends but I hope this is enough for you to like I guess I guess this is enough to like digest um, up until I make decide to make another one and that's it for now I think I've talked I've, I've said enough be sure to I guess like and subscribe and do yeah stay tuned for the next video I do hope you guys enjoyed this I do hope that I made some sense in what I was saying, but this was just something that I needed to express and something that I needed to do. So I do respect you for watching this up until this very point. Um, I do hope you have a nice day and I hope to see you later. Take it easy.